Good morning, guys. We just got back from the movies. I was gonna film, but I didn't want to get in trouble, honestly. So I didn't, but Caden is on his way back home. He's just at my grandma's house, which is not, it, it's pretty close. So he's like basically gonna be home any second. And I miss him. I guess last night he said that he wanted, he missed me and he wanted to sleep in my bed. Um, which is cute because I didn't think he was going to say that because he loves grandma's house and whenever grandma's around he wants her instead of me and I'm just like bye but yeah he's on his way back he'll be back any second and then we need to go shopping I don't know if Dan's going to go by himself or if I'm going to come I really hope I can come because I need food and stuff but this little cat is starving to death She's starving. Don't hit me. Yeah. She she needs food. She's not happy and she is very annoying when she's hungry. Which is 99% of the time. But, yeah. We have to get some food. What are you doing? Cleaning. You're cleaning? A palm arms. Oh, Pond good. Palm arms in there. In the truck? Yeah. That's cleaning? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you have fun at Grandma's house? Oh. Oh. Did you have fun at Grandma's house? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> A big one. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. That looks like a snowman. <laughs> Alright, so change of plans. Dan and Katie are staying here, and Ashley and I are gonna go shopping. Hopefully, I have enough money because I don't really have much. I'm not gonna lie. So. Yeah, there's a couple things that I really need to buy. I want to buy paint. I really want to buy paint so that we can paint her room and have that done because it's kind of the next step. I don't want to like get the furniture um, if the room's not painted because then, yeah, so I want to paint the room first is the next step. So hopefully I can get paint and since it's a small room, I'm thinking one can should be enough. It should be enough. I'm only getting one can, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, I think Caden's room is freezing. Is it cold in here? He doesn't even care. He doesn't have temperature feelings. But yeah, she's on her way and we're gonna go shopping and I have to leave my monkey here. I don't have to, but taking him, no, taking him shopping's not fun and it's just it just makes things a lot harder so he's just gonna stay here no. even though he just got home but yeah look at that winter wonderland outside my goodness You really can't tell how much it's snowing, but it's snowing like crazy. It's blizzarding. Good morning, guys. My house is still freezing, as always. I don't know what to do. Like, the heat is on. But the package, actually, two, two of them. It's the same thing, though. Like, it just came in two boxes, I guess. Came. This is Caden's toy organizer cube thingy that I've been waiting for. I actually went to um, the store and like talked to them and had to set up a shipping date or something. It was really weird, but it's here now, so I'm excited. It's really heavy, so I don't know how I'm gonna get it upstairs. I may have to open it and get it upstairs and put it together. I don't want to wait for Tan to wake up. Um, so that's my, that might be what I have to do. Good morning, guys. I have my 
30 week midwife appointment today in like less than an hour. My mom is on her way to take me to it because Dan is at school and he is obviously not able to. So she's on her way. Caden is still sleeping and I have to wake him up and get him ready and I still have to eat. But I'm a little worried like I didn't get a paper saying like the exact date and time that the appointment was. I kind of just came home and wrote it on this like Bath and Body Works gift or coupon so hopefully it's the right day and time and it's not like 1 30 instead of 11 30 and i just wrote it weird because i have pregnancy brain i don't remember i really hope it's the right time though because the last time were horrible had to wait so long but oh yeah guys guess what look at my home button do you see that right there? That happened yesterday and I'm so, so, so upset. It's gone. I have it right here. But. It won't. It won't stay. So. Yay. I'm happy. I can't afford a new phone, guys. Like, this is ridiculous. Um. I've had this phone since I was pregnant with Kaden. I got it the Christmas that I was like, what, 20 weeks pregnant? Or I was something around there. And it's, so it's four years old. This is a four year old phone. It's an iPhone 5, just the normal 5. And it worked fine up until like the last couple months. And it's just like screwing up so bad. And now the button fell off. So great guys, great. What am I supposed to do now? Kaden. Hey you. Hey. Grandma's coming. Do you want to go get in Grandma's car? <sighs> Sorry. I don't like waking you up, but we gotta go. Oh, are you cold? Oh. <laughs> blanket. Your blanket? Yeah. Oh. I can't in the bed of Grandma's house. You want to take your blanket and your pillow to Grandma's house? Yeah. We're not going to Grandma's house. We're just going to go in her car. Mommy's got to go to the doctor. Oh, does that make you sad? Maybe we'll get to hang out with Grandma after. <laughs> While Caden goes to the bathroom, um, I will show you guys the shelf. We actually did put it together. It was mostly me, but I needed help from Dan because some of the parts were really, really, really heavy. I carried everything upstairs one by one, but, um, I was having a hard time. So, he helped me a little bit at the end, um, but this is what it turned out to be. It is done. Lots and lots of storage. There's two more boxes down there. Um... I just need to get those fabric bins for most of those shelves and tether it to the wall so that it doesn't fall on Caden accidentally. But yeah, it's really nice. I love it. We just got back. I didn't really film anything. We, it was kind of like a really quick appointment. I have to take iron now because my hemoglobin is really low and I'm like exhausted. Caden. But we went to Home Depot and we got exciting things. So I'm really, really excited. I'll just show you guys. We got stuff to paint sister's room. Paint like this. Yeah. So I got this paint um, and it's no Vox or zero Vox. Open so hopefully it. that Let means. Me open it. No, we're not going to open it yet. And it's in this cute pink color right there. It's called Sweetheart, I think. Not and pocket. paint. Not touch it. Not touch it. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to touch it. I think it's dry now. And this edger thing for the, like, you know, I don't know. We needed it. And this um, plastic drop sheet thing so that we don't get any paint on the carpet. Because that would be really bad. Right? Do you paint on the carpet? No. Where do you paint? On the ceiling. On the ceiling? Yeah. No, you paint on the walls, you goofball. Paint on walls? So, yeah. 
came to like $86, which I don't think is that bad. I mean, we got like lots of stuff, but I was kind of realizing like, what are we going to use to actually open the paint can? I don't even have one of those like thingies, those like metal thingies that you use, uh, those tools. I don't know what it's called. Um, I don't have one of those. So maybe uh, I think if I use my knife, they just break. So I got to find something to open that up with. Oh, maybe our hammer. I don't know. got the room almost completely taped off I had a little bit of trouble like up there because I can't really reach to see to put the tape and like above the door up there but I got this side completely taped completely so everything is taped off I got this plastic thingy down on half the room because it didn't fit on both any way so yeah I'm gonna paint this wall and I'm not gonna I don't know maybe I'll do this but I'm not really excited about this wall just because of all the stuff and you can't really use the roller so we'll see what happens I just gotta go change my clothes into something that I can paint in and I don't really care if it gets paint on it and I'm gonna start painting. <laughs> tired it is a lot of work it hurts my hands I'm trying to like press it really hardly that doesn't make sense i'm trying to press hard on the roller so that it like makes the paint last longer i guess i don't know make it thinner so that i don't like, put too much paint in one spot but 
my hand is cramping like crazy i'm not even done the one wall it looks like crap guys oh my god i'm gonna screw this up So I'm done painting. I kind of gave up. Um, I painted one and a half walls and since it's dry, it looks a lot better than it did before because it looked horrible. And I had to like rinse out like all of this, this stuff. Camera battery is dying.